love how easy these flip cards are to make. We're going to start with our Big Shot and our Magnetic Platform. And I've cut a card base that is 5.5 by 5 and 7 eighths, or you can even cut it 5.5 by 6. It'll cut off the extra. And then you want to place a cutting pad on your Magnetic Platform. We'll place our card base. This is Crushed Curry. And then we're going to place our flip card framelit. This is the circle one. And you just want to line that up on there so that it's straight. And we're going to run that through our Big Shot. Simple, simple. And we have our card base for our flip card. Woohoo! See, it did cut off just a li the little edge. If you're a little over, no problem. Then we're going to push that down. We'll just fold that on the score lines. I don't even have to think about where to score. I just love this. And we'll fold here. We do have our flip card in place. Now we'll just decorate. Also included with the Thinlets uh, cards is extra accessories that you can make with your cards. And I'm making the thank you card, so I'm going to use this little it's thanks, the THX, and I'm going to use this circle cutout, scalp circle, and we're going to do those with our Big Shot once again. This time I'm going to use Cajun Craze. We'll place our scallop circle and our little thanks. I sort of want that at a jaunty little angle. So I did get the cutout thanks, which I'm going to save for another project, but I'm going to use the negative from the cutout and use that on my card today. And what's a card without a little stamping? We're going to use the Magnificent Maple, which is just a little maple leaf. And I'm going to stamp that with chocolate chip ink. So we'll just open that up. You want to click it, flip it, and then click it in place. And we're going to ink that up. Tap, tap, tap. Looks good. We'll go ahead and stamp. All we need to do is our focal point. And we have the thanks. And that would look good right there. But... If we add a little contrast color to the back, I have some chocolate chip cardstock, and I'm going to punch that with my, I've embossed it with my square lattice embossing folder, and I'm going to punch that with my one and three quarter cir circle punch, and I'll be able to place that behind there, and it really draws out that negative. We'll be able to put that on our card. So now you can go ahead and impress all your friends with your super duper card skills and the secret will be with us that you can make these cool flip cards in just a matter of minutes. Thanks for stopping by my studio.